Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Young Terrific here, and I'm coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Present. Unfortunately, I couldn't think of a funny intro in time, but you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit, as my grandmama used to say. Well, she's still alive, so. <laughs> anyway, last episode, um, it was confirmed that the head of police chief is also the head of the mob, which, you know, is a bit of a conflict of interest. I mean, unless you're the guy, in which case it's a great opportunity for you. But uh, now there's a posse forming to take them down. And so we're going to talk to these guys about it. Um, wait, which one? Oh, there we go. So what's the plan? Oh, also, um, I really feel like you need some candy corn. And so I have candy corn that I'm going to be eating. And if you don't like candy corn, then leave my channel. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Please don't leave. I need all the help I can get. But... So what's the plan? What are we going to do? Uh, what that say? Uh, why do you care? You're not, <laughs> you're not with the Leonardos. Well, they hurt still. That's enough for me. Mordecai, your devotion to Lafayette is adorable, but you have no useful abilities or redeemable character traits. But that's not true. <gasps> Excuse me. If you really want to help, then go get us coffee from Tim's Cafe. That's all the way to the Cafe District, and. Fine, fine, but you'd better pay me back. Case six. Oh no, we're almost to the end. Lafayette's Leonardo's Palermo. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Sorry, eating some candy corn. Okay, don't worry, I don't plan on eating for the whole recording. I'm just really hungry. <laughs> and I want a snack. Oh, no, you got, oh yeah, that's cool. They changed up the text. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna pause real quick so I can eat some candy corn. Alright, your boy's back. And I'm done munching on some candy cone. And if you don't like candy cone... Wait, I think I've already done that joke already. <laughs> well then, never mind. If you see an elderly man wearing a hat with a flower, could you please return him to us? Hey, he's right here. Wait, elderly man? A hat with a flower? That's a woman's hat. Mordecai. Hey, uh, old guy, I think the nurses, their time home are looking for you. No, I won't go back, you hear? Oh. Well, there's nothing for me to do. He ran away. Oh, well, I guess I'll do him. I'll try to find him anyway. What up, old man? Come on, it's cold out here. You probably shouldn't be exerting yourself. No, you can't take me. Wow, and here I thought I could anticipate it, wait, anticipate it that time. Uh, where'd the old man go? Um, old man? Oh, here we go. What do you mean the tunnel is closed? I'm sorry, sir, but these things happen. I need to get to the library district, though. My Pokemon daycare. <gasps> the old man! I can escort you back to wherever you're staying, though. You really shouldn't be wandering around in the cold at your age. <gasps> Wait, are they really down? I'm frustrated. Oh, well, and upset. But mostly frustrated. I do stupid things when I'm upset because I can't, because I stop thinking straight. I never really thought that clearly around Leo to begin with. I could goof off around and joke with him, whether it was in or outside of work. Lou, R Rosewell's spiel didn't help any. I feel sick and stuck. Now this side wants me to leave. Truffles doesn't want me to either. I guess, I guess I'll guess i just throw a pity party now. Try my best to get over it. Walking will clear my head. I usually go to the cemetery to do that. Nettle Bottom, Nettle Bloom Cemetery is where I met Truffles. She was pinned beneath a crumbled tombstone and I dug her out. Truffles. At least I can trust her. You can't trust Mordecai? Wait, what? No! No, the old man! What the heck? Really? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're back because um, I kind of want to see how this um, old man debacle is going to go down. So let's see. Our resident has been returned, fortunately. Oh. 
Okay, well... Cool. I guess that was it then. <laughs> uh, well, in any case, I guess I'll go back. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're back where we left off. Let's see. Um, what, what's, um, what's happening? Oh, duh, stairs. Oh, why do I have to battle? I sense something behind you. No, you don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if I told you guys about the chain of events I had to go through to get to a freaking Pokemon Center. <laughs> because, so, the whole reasoning for keeping um, slow poke on the team was to get it to level 36 so that that way when I get a King's Rock I can hopefully get it to a slack to a slow king so that that way um, it can get nasty plot but if I would have did this battle it would have gotten way past nasty plot stage and so that's why I decided to say hey let me get to a Pokemon Center but to find a Pokemon Center I had to do so much uh, I want this item there must be another way Is that a Litwick? Wick. Oh, it is a Litwick. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I took out both of those trainers, so that's something that you guys don't have to worry about. Hey, a heart scale. Is there a movie learner in this game? That's kind of weird. The heck is this? Whose house is in a graveyard? Uh, I've been the caretaker since I was a teenager. I volunteered to mother my food. Oh, thanks. Feel free to rest in the bed here. Oh, and avoid any lit candles. They're uh, not exactly candles if you get my meaning. Yeah, they're an extremely powerful Pokemon that I want in my team. But then I'd have to get rid of Gengar. And I don't really want to, though. So I don't know about that. Uh, another trainer that I don't feel like fighting. I can fight them off screen. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, this game is so well made. Oh my goodness, alright, I'm back. I had to restart the game because for some reason, don't go there on that spot because the game glitches out for some reason. Um, where the heck am I? Oh, I need to fight that trainer, it looks like. Dang. Well, whatever. Also, random <laughs> Aur um, Aurorus over here, so that's pretty cool. Let's see, uh, fought you already. <sighs> I might as well just fight all these trainers. Okay. For the umpteenth time, I'm back. <laughs> uh, finally, Don and Seals has shot at home, and I'm therefore tasked with guarding the northern next... Oh, so you weren't who I was supposed to talk to then. That's fine, I guess we'll go check out those spooky specters. Over here. Wait, what's this? Lancy, oh, Grace Cunning Chorn. That sucks. Wait, do all these say something? Don't make a fearless Navidad joke on my tombstone. That's funny. Alright, let me, just in case. Perfect. Ro Roswell was right then. Oh, Sil, what are you. Oh. Oh. Why didn't you encourage me to leave? I would have done it in a heartbeat if you had caught me in the airport. You're my friend, so Lafayette. There's already <laughs> enough L names being thrown around. That's for certain. Leonardo. Leonardo. Ehehe, <laughs> believe it or not, my parents really named me that. I've never been a Balcone, though. It's always been Leonardo. Was it funny? Did you get some sort of kick out of it? What? No, don't say stuff like that, so la just don't. My family was my family has an ugly history. I'm not proud of it. 
I wasn't given much of a choice once all the cards were laid out. I can give you some answers if you come down into the family crypt, but I'm sure you don't trust me enough to risk that. But bring a Pokemon that can learn strength if you decide to come. Wait, there are there are T there are HMs in this? What? Why why are there randomly HMs now? That that makes it no sense. Well, whatever. Excuse me. I'm glad you came, this little detective. <laughs> Who? Just call me that. It'll be easier. Right, um, detective. Is it fine if I make sure you're strong enough to handle this, the crypt that is? It's infested with ghost-type Pokemon, and some of my wackier relatives may have set some traps and puzzles everywhere. Should I agree? <sighs> I don't have a choice anyway. Oh, this is a very bad matchup for me. Toxic? Oh, you're one of those. Yeah, no, we're, we're not doing this. Icicle Crash. No, sir. Not playing this game. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm not fighting a Poison Hill Gliscor, that's for sure. Flamethrower, yes. Finally. About freaking time. Alright, who's next? Ares. Well, let's try out our newly acquired flamethrower on whatever this is. Oh, Gallade. Oh, no, Gallade. Um. Hey, I got a Pokemon with Moon Blast. Are you living that? Oh my gosh. Uh, and you're life orb? Can we not, please? This thing is freaking life orb. Zen headbutt. How much is that gonna do? Wow. Um. Oh, you know what? Here, I'm gonna make a trick play. So he's gonna use Zen headbutt again, right? Right. Why would he? So, uh, I realized that I never unpaused it. <laughs> oh, boy. Gyro Ball. That should knock me out. Yeah. Uh, so, his Pokemon were Gliscor, uh, Gallade. Uh, <laughs> Coincidentally, he also has a Houndoo named Cerberus, which is kind of funny. And then Excalibur, which is this thing. Um, Aegislash. So, yeah. That, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I completely forgot to unpause it. Because <laughs> it took me a couple tries to get what I wanted to happen. That was a bit of BS. <laughs> right then, we're set. Oh man, that's funny. Okay, let's head in. Alright, yeah, and uh, take these. You'll need them in there. Oh, it is a TM. Thanks. This is just beyond uncomfortable. I don't really know what to say. Okay, so who can I teach strength to? I just find it weird that, like, of all things, why strength now? You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just very, very random, it seems. Let's give you strength, because you need a move other than water type. Um, uh, honestly? Let's give it a brine, because... Or... Dang it. Let's give it a bubble beam. Grind might come in handy. Because it does double damage if it's at half health. But yeah, no, I completely forgot that I didn't unpause the game. I should talk to Leo if I want to split up. Uh, talk? So you're considering that permanent vacation? Uh, so no. Do you think I should? Uh, I don't really know. One of the family high-class gangsters that must have been interesting. Growing up suggests that my family actually had any hand in raising me. Well, did they? Sent them to boarding school. And once I graduated there, law school. Followed by police training. Whoa, why the heck would you go to freaking law school to become a police officer? It's like, this was rich Lucille. Yep, I don't wear the wedding band, though. I'm sure Lucille has it somewhere or pawned it off. Sounds like Happy Union, so clearly you want to be in something like that. How is it? Uh, pretty limited number of people. Luciano, Lewis, and Lucille. 
is having out of an apartment. Well, there's Charlie Ben. She's always managed my family's estate. Okay, well, let's split up for now. Okay, let's just backtrack to the entrance. Cool. I like that they did that, though. Like, you just go straight to the entrance, which is nice, because I feel like I'm going to have to go back and heal repeatedly. But yeah, that's so interesting. Man, that sucks, man. I hate that I forgot to unpause the game. That doesn't happen. Like, I normally remember. But yeah, like, like I said, there's no reason for me to show you, like, every time. <sighs> they need to freaking fix that. Okay, I'm back. I just went ahead and made my way down here. Um, I accidentally ran into a Litwick, and then I just said screw it, and I ran away from it because I don't feel like battling it right now. Okay. So we got some puzzles. I don't know why I did that. Hey. Aw. Aw. Hey. Hold up. Because uh, I had to I have to re-talk to this guy now. Let's see. I, I'm just trying to see what all his dialogue says. Oh, okay. I think we're done, finally, with his dialogue. Yeah, yeah. We cycled through it all. Hey. Oh. What? Oh. Um. A wild lamp hit and phantom appeared. Um, yeah, your boy's gonna catch that lamp hit because why would you earthquake me? And you got a critical hit on it. Why would you do that? Oh, man. <laughs> then you use freaking earthquake. I'm actually impressed that my family thought I had to buy this many coffins. I mean, how do I activate this freaking switch? Oh. Okay, cool. Good enough for me. Alright, so let's do this. Hey! We freaking did it, guys. Uh, so what have we got going on here? Okay, so we got another puzzly puzzle. So let's see here. I'm assuming we got this red one. Kingdra Delicious? Michael Leonardo. Brave Nature. Wait, 2043? What time period is this? For alligator. Oh, crap. Who the heck do I have to fight? Queen K. Rule. Bryce Leonardo, Bold Nature. Ew, a bold for alligator? 2018? Met a level 5. Somewhat vain. Okay. Um, I'm gonna save again. Whose vase is this? Ah, dang it. I'll take it with me then. Oh, so if we get it wrong, then we have to... I'm just going to run away. <laughs> well, that wasn't correct. Hey, Adele Mize. Now that... Now that bad boy is something that I want. Stop using Earthquake! <laughs> like, my boy, why why are you using Earthquake out here, man? Oh, whatever. Energy Ball! Ooh, that ain't good. Um, let's see, I'm going to use Ice Shard, actually. I don't know why I kept this in, I could have just <laughs> ended this. Okay, well, I guess since we're at our 20-minute mark anyway, um, 
I'm just gonna end off this episode right here, and I guess we'll, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Wait, did it not have poison heal? <laughs> That's stupid. Okay, well, yeah, we're in off this episode right here, guys. So if you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy, leave a dislike and leave me a comment letting you know why you didn't like it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.